Hello guys, I am back again with another Battlefield Earth 2 video. This will be probably my last video um, for quite a while, uh, at least, at least about six, seven weeks maybe, because um, I'll be studying for exams and uh, I'm going to be very busy over the start of the summer, so um, this will be probably one of my last videos for quite a while. But anyway, this is also, while well, this is also my, one of my last videos for a very, quite a while, I will be returning by the way, don't don't think I won't be, I will. But yeah, this, one, this is also the first game I've ever done on the 1.04 patch. So basically this is a balanced version of the 1.0 game. So unlike say the first game, uh, unlike say 1.06 or 1.08 which completely changes the game to insane levels um, that could completely change the strategies of the game this is more just a balance balancing thing it doesn't completely change the the balance the completely change the strategies of the game so to, to introduce our players we have a boss blinky uh, playing as Isengard and then we have uh, Juba playing as Mordor so uh, we have two orc pits here. We have some uh, resources going down as well. So here we have two. You have two orc crossbowmen starting up with two orcs coming out for um, Juba here. So it'll be interesting to see what the orcs can do in this patch. Um, are they completely useless like in Bodo Six, or are they actually not as damaging but they're you know interesting? So this is going to be a very interesting in game in general because um, it's been one a very long time since I've played the game. I haven't played a game in about ages now. I probably like played games on it. Been ages. So I'm going to be if I ever play the game again, I'm going to be rusty. Like I'm going to be massively rusty. But uh, I might probably bring some live comms in a while. It'd be fun to play them again. That was one of my. That was what my Battlefield video started with, was uh, live comps of 1.06. That was the patch that I played on. And then I went back to 1.0 and just stuck with it for a bit because I just enjoyed the games more. But yeah, the orc crossbowmen are attacking the orcs. They're trying. The orcs are trying to get in behind and try and take out resources, as you can see. And then we have another two orc orcs. Another two tons of orcs coming out. He has three crossbowmen and he's now getting some more Kai. So they should the orcs I think will do damage before the orcs come out. Because he's kinda getting shot all over the place, so I think he'll do damage before all the orcs die and he'll at least take out one resource because he's not in position to take out. Or he might go here and take out both. That'd be interesting. Bit of a bad placing there by Blinky here. Probably should have put it like here so he's not able to do this. <laughs> Oh, actually, oh yeah, orcs still do a lot of damage. When you get them in the right spots, they do a lot of damage, it's insane here. That's a great pickup for, um, for, uh, for, what's it, for, uh, Juba here. So, in behind this, we can see that he's building more orcs. He's starting to really ramp up his economy. Hopefully, he can take advantage for it for himself. But uh, actually, the entire ba uh, but, uh, Blinky's base has been entirely good, at, so he's not gonna be able to do much for right now. So let's see what he's doing. Uh, Juba here is he? What's he doing? Where's the builder? There's one builder I can see here. One, two. So he still has the second builder. He's not really doing much with his money. He could be micring here, I'd say. And he doesn't have much, much money, but he, if he's gonna. I think he should really press on and really take the economic advantage here. That would be a very good thing to do. Oh, taking a bunch of crossbows to the face, always, always nice to see. Actually, a game that I'm thinking about playing till maybe after I. Uh, my next Total War vid, I might, uh, yeah, I might do something with Total War again, because I have, I have ideas for videos, but, um, a series that will come back is my, um, the Divide and Conquer videos that, uh, and new, the full version should be out, 
soon I think uh, it should be out by the time I back to making videos again that's for sure so once that's done and um, once that's done I'm back in the game I should be able to um, I'll definitely do that again let's say the tower's defense I, the tower's attack seems to be doing a lot more da a lot less damage than it usually is Oh, he's got warg though. Ah, there you go. Look at hiding in that base there. Nice. It's definitely going to do a lot of damage to the orcs. If they're the same orcs. That's if, that's a massive if though. Interesting. Got some more orcs getting chopped up here because they're not doing anything. And he's going into his base. So this is actually great recovery by... Um, Blinky, he's actually managed to stabilize right now. He's actually going on the offensive here. And he's actually taking out his production here. So if he just moves to the other one, come on. Or, uh, yeah, that's annoying with Warg. They have to get set up before they actually attack. But yeah, he's actually taking out both of them. So that's a great pickup for um, for uh, Blinky. But uh, if it would be a very, very good idea would be to get his or Wargs out now because they're leveled up. And uh, level up works. Um, love the units always do a lot of damage, so we can get them out. Which I think he will if he moves them out now, or he's gonna continue doing stuff. We got some crossbowmen. Any heroes coming out? No more infantry. It looks like we really should build more orc pits. If he's got, if I was to criticize him here, he should do. So that's a one thing that I always found odd when I played the when I um watch replays of pro games. They always seem to not go with more like barracks or the race equivalents. They always seem to just n only do one for the reason. I always baffled me. I always sounds like, why don't you just like you're gonna have the resources eventually, so why don't you just do that? Oh, but anyway, enough of my pondering. But yeah, and uh, Juba's about to counter, trying counter. Um, counter Blinky's Cav with some East Bank Pikes they're gonna take a bit to come out so they're gonna have a lot of damage to be done and Pikes don't actually do that much damage unless they or his Cav charge into him put, he's also got archers to um, deal with any Pikes so it's gonna be hit difficult for Juba to hold this be interesting to see if he is we have more infantry coming out we've got infantry coming in too on their way so Pikes are gonna be disadvantaged we really need to get his crossbows out of the uh, equation here, out of the way, the the uh, tower. But unfortunately, he's not been able to do that. He's also trying to sneak around to try and get some. Uh, ooh, it's gonna be bad. Very careful. He needs to micro these guys away fast before they start. Nope, they didn't poke him. They didn't poke him yet. Actually, losing his um his orcs here, his orcs here, which is not a good thing because they're very strong. Because this is actually killing them all off, which is surprising. It works out really, really. I'm not sure what one point that was like that much when doing the works, because I rarely use Mordor, because I hate Mordor. <laughs> I hate the evil factions in this game, I always uh, I always use a lot of them. But yeah. So he did actually hold this, he's not dead. But actually, I have to say, the uh, orc base is really, really. or the, the, the forts in this, in this patch is a lot more. Uh, doesn't do as much damage or take as much damage as they do usually. More orcs are dying. Uh, let's have a look around here. More bases up here. And he's actually taking my advice now, so finally they're actually seeing more orcs coming out. He's got pikes. He's not building anything at the minute here. He's building another orc pit, so actually I stand corrected. <laughs> There goes my uh, little piece is uh, a bit uh, a little in the void. I just got mouth sound at level 2, which I believe he doesn't do the uh, normal Nazgul thing. No. And he's about to lose all his cab here, which would be really annoying. Oh, really? No, he's actually managed to get away with them, surprisingly. So, ni very nice here. Now, let uh, his troops come back in to get free here, he's got some pikes here building a lot of pikes in infantry now so I think, he's, I think he thinks he has enough crossbows to to be good enough now plus the juba here is, in, is pretty much dead in his feet 
unless he did some miraculous battle here I don't see him holding this so it's gonna be interesting oh, if especially if Blinky notices his resources here that would be really bad because I think that's basically what's keeping him in the game as all of his resources did he destroy him? I don't know his base is over there why am I in this boot? sorry about that but keep it out to me that before sorry I didn't mean to do that um, I just started doing that but yeah you still got all these resources um, I think he's really starting to expand the map it's like so oh jeez oh it's gonna be difficult to hold he's got basically nothing so unless he gets a miraculous miraculous fights here I don't see him holding this oh especially if he was especially if he was oh, he's gone. Good, that would have been bad if he didn't do that. It would be difficult for him to hold this. I think pikes do a lot of damage to heroes if I remember rightly, even on um, foot. Okay, this is going to be rough, to say the least. But with everything he has, I don't see him holding this, so it looks like this might be GG for... Yeah, his hero's dead. It looks like Juba's about to go down. And with every... Yeah, if he's pretty much... Yeah, it's GG. Let's see what it was going for. I think that's for us doing here. Yeah. Yeah, Blinky. So yeah, this is GG. A very, very nice game for um by a very nice play. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> he has to quit it. So a very, very, very great play there by uh by Blinky. He managed to recover from that early setback and managed to uh, defeat Juba here. The forces of Isengard hold the forts of Isen. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that, guys. It was very interesting to see uh one by the four play be interesting to see maybe team games or stuff like that if you guys want to play this game there is I will have the link in the description of the uh, Third Age Online I don't know if you need the disc to actually play it but I don't quote me on that I think you do but I'm not sure so but you can crack it you can actually crack it so if you're able to do that you can crack it or turn to it whatever so you can do that as well but yeah, I hope you enjoyed that guys and I'll see you guys in a couple of weeks. Um, I don't know how many videos I'm going to get through today. I might have maybe two, maybe three, I'm not sure. Depends. Depends on my time, but yeah. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that guys and I'll see you guys soon. And yeah, see you in a while. Hope you enjoyed this and uh, bye.